Hi. What a week. Okay, it's been super busy. I've had our Palooza. I've driven to the Kootenays and back and done a whole bunch of parties there. Then come home to turn around and do a bunch of more parties here. Get your paintings out. I'm so sorry I'm late. Um, hope you guys are okay with that. Uh, it's kind of bright in here. I'm still on the fall theme, so if you guys have more suggestions, please send them my way. And let's turn you to my sketchbook. I've got all kinds of junk back there. I've got to sort through from Mark Palooza. That blue pile right there, right there. That's Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross, the scarecrow mannequin. Anyways, he is stuck there on the ground. We are going to turn you so you can see what's going on in my sketchbook. We're going to do um, the whole background in orange. So if you've got a canvas, go ahead and wet it. Going to use our typical three brushes, but I am introducing this new one. It's a number one or a one, a level one watercolor or what they call a liner brush. So it's the same as your skinny one, but it's got this long, long um, bristle at the end. See how much there is there? It does beautiful branches, and I just found it yesterday. So I'm going to use that to do my branches. But you can still do them with either your round brush or your angle brush. But I suggest if you can find one, even on Amazon.ca, then you should try using that. So all my colors today are just black, red, yellow. Got way too much red. I always start with a little bit. I put too much because it squeezes out super fast for me. So I'm going to take a little bit of red. And I'm going to put it in the center. And I'm going to take a whole bunch of yellow. And I want this to be a nice deep orange color. Cool. All right. So. Go ahead, you're going to paint your whole canvas this autumny orange color. Boy, I'm going to use a lot because um, it's paper. I'm working on paper, so it doesn't quite work the same as yours. It doesn't absorb and move because it's not wet. So I'm going to just kind of quickly get this on here just so you guys can know. Your whole canvas is going to be orange. I want it to be nice and orange. This is an oldie but a goodie. I just love the fall colors. Oranges and browns and reds. So cool. Okay, so you should let this dry um, before you go to put your moon on. Um, your moon can be just like a straight on bright yellow, which will look awesome. Big harvest moon. Let's try that. See if that'll work. I'm going to put it right about here. Nice big circle. This is the focus of your painting. Of course, mine's not going to show up. Because my background is still wet. So I'm going to make mine whitish orange. So that you guys can see it. So you can either do a white one. I'm using my angle brush now because it's bigger, just to make this nice big moon. And you want it to be halfway. The tree's going to come up. It's going to swoop around and hold hold um, this moon in its branch grasp. My paints on there super duper thick. I don't have a blow dryer, so when I go to put my branches on, they are not going to show up. It's going to be difficult. All right, so still using that angle brush, and this probably won't show up either. So at the point, you're going to take this, you're going to paint it orange, you're going to dry it, then you're going to, great big moon, you're going to dry it. And then you're going to put your moon on, then you're going to dry your moon. It, can, it looks really good when it's bright yellow. I'm going to do mine in a whitish yellow, and now I'm going to do my tree. So the tree's not going to be super duper thick, but it's going to come around. The branch is going to come around this side, come up, swoop over the tree, and that will be your tree. 
want that branch to swoop around part way. Now we're just going to make the tree better. So the tree is going to be thicker. I guess we could have put brown in here too. Yes, we can. Let's be longer down. Am I water anyway? So it's longer down there. Um, so if you had brown, you can right here, just kind of make like a hill off into there and then just color that bit brown. I don't have any brown. So I'm just going to pretend this is brown. With my watery black. We're going to pretend that's brown, but see, it's got this nice little hill. You can do whatever you want. It doesn't have to be a, it doesn't have to be a hill. And then you've got your roots that come out in black. There we go. Okay. So it doesn't really need any other branches. This is my lovely brush. You can have this shape come a little nicer. So I'm going to go in with this long brush of mine that I've just discovered because I love this brush for doing branches. And I'm going to add a few more branches so this one can come down around like this. Maybe there's some branches that come this way. You guys see those? Should I close this door? Maybe I'll close the door because it's so bright coming in from the sun. Now it's a little better, isn't it? So here you can see that I'm starting to draw some branches off of it with my thin brush. wherever you want them to be. Let's just go creep around there a bit. Maybe it creeps right into the moon. Surprised that that showed up. Have it curl up here. It's going to be hard to, to see this because it doesn't hold the paint very well. See how it's going to curl up and cradle that moon a little bit? That is the fun and creepy part of this painting. I have to go over these quite a bit because the yellow is really wet. But we want to have some coming off too because we don't want it to look too perfect. So just drawing some creepy kind of branches. Off of these branches. Seriously, you guys, if you can find one of these brushes, get it because this is a lifesaver. My goodness, these are beautiful brushes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Does branches so easy. I mean, seriously, I've done 700 parties. This is the best thing I've seen in a long time. I'm so excited about it. And maybe there's a branch up here. I like it when the branches kind of cross over too. When they cross over, like right here, this works out really good. So when I do a branch, 
I follow up along this and then I'll veer off just so I don't go straight out. And then the branch will be something like this with a, maybe a little, a little bit of a wiggle. Maybe there's another branch or two that come out of there. But you get the idea, right? I like this one to be coming down or everything kind of going that way. I could play forever with this brush though and make branches. It's just so stinking creepy and beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Anyways, there's not much to this painting at all, but what a cool effect. It's beautiful. So it's got this beautiful tree with all its branches curling around and cradling the moon. You can do some little grasses and stuff down here too. Especially if you have that like rake brush that I showed you guys a few months ago. Makes you fantastic grass, but... I'm just quickly throwing some lines up here so you guys can see. And you can do some grass. Looks beautiful. So back to, I think my angle brush. I'm going to go back to, um, get the black out of it. I don't want any black in there. Um, yellow, we make that orange color a little more yellow. And I'm going to take some white because I need to make um, the reflection on the edge. More white. On the edge of the tree so uh, it looks like it's glowing on the tree. That will just add one more dimension to this. And then, seriously, then it's done. I'm just going to go in with my big long liner brush. Get all the black out of there. Put some white on that. And I'm just going to go down this edge. We'll take a little bit. It doesn't matter how much you do because if it's too much, it's okay because you can uh, go back over it with black. So here I am just taking it, going around my tree in the front here. Just going to lighten that up. My tree's wet, so this is really hard. All right, and then if you think it's too much, you just take your black and go back over your tree a little bit, darken some of that up. There. Boy, that's pretty. Just sign it. I wonder what it's like to sign with this thing. I'm having so much fun with my new brush. I'm bring this closer so you guys can see it. Right here. Well, I don't sign as nice with this brush because it's too thin, but you can see my name on there. All right, so there it is. My signature there, it's really thin. It doesn't look quite like my signature, but what a beautiful painting. Very autumn -y. Okay, guys, thank you so much for being patient with me this week while I was getting my poop in the group. I will see you for sure Tuesday, uh, Wednesday. No, 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 Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This week I should have everything in order. Okay, bye for now.